We all want to know how to take a good burlesque photo, so. Yeah, and I've, I've worked both in the studio and performance, and I, I it's different for both of them. I mean, uh, you know, going to a performance is great because I have very little control over what's right. going on, so I'm reacting to the scene, which I really like. Um, and then going into the studio, I have total control, so I can pretty much tell you exactly what to do and how to sit, and I control the light, so that's very different. Um, going into um, a performance, a lot of times I already know exactly what the performance is going to be because I've, I've gotten to know the performers and I know their style and I, I know what they're going to be doing up on the stage. Right. And coming to Beehive all these years, I, I pretty much know what they're going to be doing so I can anticipate. Um, the, the big challenge with performers and shooting performers is the lighting. Um, sometimes that's not even the performer's fault. I know that a lot of times um, the smaller venues that they perform in, even in Toronto, um, they have their own, like the, the clubs will have their own lighting people and even when the performers tell them what they want in their lighting, that doesn't actually happen sometimes right. um, and the lighting can be horrifying. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if it's too dark, we can't photograph you, so if you really wanted to have really great shots of your performance, if you don't see any from us, it's because we just couldn't take them. Yeah. Uh, we can only shoot so dark and then it's like, there's especially, nothing we can do with especially it. Especially when people move fast when it's dark too. Yeah, you move fast, it's dark. Uh, backlighting, um, you look really great in silhouette on stage, but we can't really photograph that yeah. in any way. Um, those uh, fog machines are really nice. They don't photograph well at all. Mm -hmm. um, and fog machines are great for one performance, but you have to remember they don't go away for the next performance. So everybody after you gets to have a fog machine right. as well. So everything is foggy. Um, and the other thing are those red and blue lights that a lot of the smaller venues tend to have. Mm -hmm. it, pretty much your, there'll be large spots of your skin that are just going to have these huge swaths of blue. The blotchy kind of. The blotchy blue. Yeah, that doesn't look good on anybody's skin I, at whatsoever. I'm, I'm always like yellow and pink. Yeah, yellow, yellow and pink. pink. Like, yeah. I'm always going to yellow and pink. Yeah. You don't want like green, you don't want purple. Yeah. <laughs> spotlights are always nice. And yeah. if there is a spotlight, please make sure you're in the spotlight. Yeah, <laughs> we we were blessed because like uh, we produced uh, we produced a, a show for Planned Parenthood and mm -hmm. the first time we did it in our LA venue, um, we didn't get to talk to you, the we didn't talk to the venue about the lighting before a videographer was there and like the video looks really nice because it's like a 5D camera but yeah. the second time we scheduled out 45 minutes to put all the lights in the proper and the videos just look so much better they just look yeah. like fabulous like compared to what the first round was. Yeah, just a couple of minutes, uh, you know, more light is better than less light, um, you know, the more we can see you the better. And I, I do, I completely understand that sometimes it really has to do with, you know, the performance that, that you're putting on needs to have a certain ambiance and a certain mood, so you want it to be dark or you want it to, to have the fog machine or the smoke machine, and we totally get that, so, um, you know, we don't want performers to compromise their creativity, right. you know, just because, you know, we want to take a great shot. Um, so just keeping in mind the tips is great, but don't, you know, do, it, do it for yourself. Yeah. Um,